We're joined today by Mike Kadar, and Mike sits on the Advisory Council for CADA. CADA represents the Canadian Advanced Technology Alliance. And today we're going to be talking about the campaign for mobility healthcare in Canada. Mike? Thank you, Hart. Uh, mobility or mobile health is a, a new phenomenon in the healthcare industry. It is intended to change healthcare from physician centric to patient centric. It has the ability on a real time basis to monitor patients, to interact with patients all the time, everywhere they are, not just within hospital or within clinics, but wherever they are. Either the patients, patients or the doctors have access to uh, information about the patient. They can monitor real time patient condition. The phenomena in healthcare in parallel to mobile health is home care. And many patients stay at home and are being supervised by the medical team from hospital, from clinic, but they do not have to go to the hospital because they are now, they have the technology through wireless to monitor their, their condition. Now we launched a campaign uh, in front of Industry Canada or the federal government to include healthcare in the user group who will be accessing spectrum allocation for public safety. Uh, the government of Canada has, uh, based on the need of the public safety community, which is police, fire and ambulance or EMS, have allocated uh, a certain amount of spectrum, which is the same spectrum as been allocated in the US, for those agencies so they can develop on a real-time basis their system to operate more efficiently and to be able to operate interoperability between the various municipalities, provinces and across the country. That spectrum at the moment is not accessible by healthcare. It is accessible by EMS, which is paramedic in ambulances, but not for healthcare. So our campaign in front of Industry Canada is to extend the access to this spectrum also to healthcare, so that we will create a provincial, not just a municipal, undertaking for the deployment and operation of those systems. It is fairly expensive to build a new infrastructure parallel to the commercial infrastructure, which is the wireless cellular phones that all of us are used. By building a parallel infrastructure, which is based on a lot more robust uh, build, which will withstand storms and we will withstand uh, high usage, um, this requires su uh, substantial, substantial uh, funding. Municipalities, if it's a police or fire, do not have those budget. But we believe, and, and a study will be undertaking across the country, we believe that the healthcare community could derive major benefits and major cost reduction by the prevalent or excess, not excessive, but by the uh, extensive use of mobile health in day-to-day -day operation. So why is the standard uh, uh, cellular network not good enough? Well, uh, the forecast of the use of cellular network is that the, the amount of data and traffic between the handheld device and the closest cell site is going to double every year for the next five years. Very unlikely is that the cellular operators will be able to upgrade their network at the same rate. Therefore, we have to prepare for the, 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 the blocking or the uh, grid locks that we see on the highways, which was never planned for properly. In the information area, we have to make sure that we have enough capacity to handle important real-time emergency time or critical mission-critical information. For the moment, when doctors use their iPhone or iPad or Blackberry, uh, they are using it very much the same as anybody downloading a YouTube or playing a game 
over the same cell site and there is no priority given to a packet or to an information bit if it is between a doctor and a patient or between a policeman and another or fireman it is the same therefore the government recognizes that for first respondent being police fire and ambulance they need to be a separate network but they haven't realized that the healthcare community which is becoming more and more uh, dependent on the use of mobile health needs this access to the same network so our campaign and I'm reaching out to all of you to write to your MP or MPP and explain that your health or your future health may be at peril if information about you is not uh, received real time uh, when it's needed. Uh, doctors are very very conservative they are not going to use the cellular network for critical information and therefore you will have to drive you know to get to see a doctor and to get the information whereby in, in, in using that, <clears throat> that new infrastructure that information can be conveyed to you uh, over the network in a real time video data and voice. The new system will be simultaneous voice, video and, and very much like tele, telemedicine. You're all familiar with the telemedicine in Ontario. Ontario has one of the largest telemedicine network in the world but it is fixed. You have to go to a special room where there are big uh, screens and now you're connected within Timmins and downtown Toronto to your doctor. But what if you cannot go to that room why could it not be available everywhere? And that's what we're talking about. The technology exists today, the spectrum is available, and the uniqueness for Canada is that we got the same bandwidth as the American, yet we only have one-tenth of the traffic needs. Therefore, we can incorporate with public safety other agencies such as healthcare, such as utilities, such as mental health, and so on. So, please, if you are interested in improving quality in healthcare, reducing cost and getting a better care on a real-time basis, write to your MP or MPP and ask for Industry Canada to incorporate healthcare into its spectrum allocation. Thank you.